Wilmington, Ohio, January 7, 1948. At Clinton County Army Airfield, eyewitnesses report seeing a circular object in the sky that is described as a flaming red cone trailing a gaseous green mist. Alarmed by the sightings, the Army instructs a squad of airborne F-51D Mustangs under the command of Captain Thomas Mantell to investigate. Four fighters led by Captain Mantell were dispatched to try to follow or intercept this object. The object was massive. It was about 300 feet in diameter and traveling at about 500 miles per hour. When they attempted to intercept this object, it was too fast. And it was also climbing in altitude. Everyone except Mantel stopped ascending at a certain point due to problems with oxygen. Mantel pushed his plane, climbing higher and higher towards the object. However, radio contact with Mantel was lost. According to reports, as Mantel pursued the UFO, he lost control of the plane and crashed into the ground. The report was that he went up too high. At 25,000 feet, he lost oxygen. They believe that he passed out and crashed into the ground. The Mantel incident is an important one, and that is because it involves a UFO fatality. And it was because of this UFO fatality that the Air Force began Project Blue Book to look into these UFO incidents. The Mantel incident occurred over a stretch of many miles, mostly along the 37th parallel. With official military involvement, multiple witnesses, and even a fatality, the Mantel incident is considered one of the most compelling UFO encounters ever recorded. The mystery of the 37th parallel also includes a UFO incident that occurred 25 years later and lasted for months. One of the most fascinating areas along the 37 degree parallel line is Piedmont, Missouri. The sightings actually started in 1973. But the one main sighting that people began focusing on happened February 21st, to be exact. Coach Reggie Bones was at a basketball game with his team. As they were coming back home at about 8.30 at night, they saw strange lights in the distance, and they were colored lights flashing. They saw that the lights weren't just a single pillar in the sky, but were distinct colored lights, red, green, amber, and white. Other residents in the area also saw the lights. The Mantel incident and the Piedmont sightings are just two of hundreds of UFO encounters that Zukowski and Ziegelmeyer have documented along the 37th parallel. Also found along this latitude is Cape Girardeau, Missouri, where a UFO crash was reported as early as 1941, and one of the most famous UFO incidents on record. The 1947 Roswell crash occurred just over 100 miles south of this line. It's pretty amazing to think that two of the biggest UFO events that essentially kicked off the modern ufology field, Roswell and Camp Girardeau, happened to be on or around the 37th parallel. So you have to wonder why. Is it some sort of a supernatural force or could it be something to do with extraterrestrials?